Hello, MBA family. Um, I'm Stephen, the minister at Colby New Baptist Church. I'm really sorry that I can't be with you today, but we're actually traveling somewhere else today. But I hope you are having an incredible time of gathering and listening to God's voice together. Uh, Paul just asked me to record a short video uh, telling you a bit of stories about uh, the pandemic and Colby Newham here in South Middlesbrough and how it's uh, worked out for us. Um, we've got a couple, of, a couple of really good stories that have worked out. But before I tell you that, um, just to frame this in the fact that the pandemic has been really hard as well. It's been, um, in fact, it's been pretty brutal. We've had one of those pandemics where we've had, uh, we've had death and cancer and mental health problems and we've had people leaving um, church as well and uh, there's there's been um, it's been a pretty brutal couple of years actually so it's not all been wonderful uh, but there has been uh, some amazing mission that's happened incredible move of the spirit as well um, but during the pandemic as we moved online and uh, transferred things into zoom and stuff uh, we, we really seemed to catch a wave of something with what the Holy Spirit was doing, particularly with um, online alphas. We ran three online alphas over the past 18 months, and each one has been the most successful alpha that we've had. They've been beautiful, incredible. We've had people who never would have gone to a church building to gather for an alpha course have uh, gathered together online in from their own homes and have felt safe and secure to share um, relationships developed really easily. The videos were powerful. Uh, discussion times were great. Even when we did like the Holy Spirit um, sessions where we spent just time some pr praying and worshipping over Zoom, the Holy Spirit showed up. There were powerful moments where people just felt convicted to give their lives. Uh, and we've had some baptisms since then as well. So um, beautiful, amazing. Um, and then when the kind of restrictions lifted, um, the best thing that we did by a long shot was we moved our services outside. So from April until very recently, we've had a good 90% of our services outside. Um, we're lucky that we've got a we've got an area of a, a nice little public square just outside our building. And we we've been setting up out there instead. And what it did was it meant that... Uh, that straight away all of our people came back because there was no reason to not come back. Some of them for the first couple of weeks sat in their cars, but then they felt very comfortable and came um, uh, and, and got out of their cars and just gathered together. Um, and so we managed to gather the church family again quite early on as soon as the restrictions lifted. Uh, and that was beautiful and it felt wonderful. Um, but then what we noticed was it had a huge missional potential as well, is uh, people from our local community were hearing us singing worship. Uh, the houses around us were hearing us singing. People started coming down. Walkers by started pausing. And um, amazingly, the church started growing from this. I wish we'd moved outside years ago. Um, turns out it's the secret to a missional service is just moving it out of the building to um, the street. And uh, uh, we've probably grown, our Sundays have probably grown by about 50% from what they were pre-pandemic levels, um, which is definitely the fastest growth that we've seen since I've been here about 11 years and uh, haven't seen that sort of growth before. And it seemed to come from um, being outside. The live stream and the service as well was really effective is because what we were finding was people were showing up to these outdoor services um, when perhaps they would feel nervous about going inside. Um, but they, they, they were saying to us, oh, we've actually been watching you for two or three weeks on the live stream. And then they were rocking up and uh, felt like they knew us. And it, it felt like the online live stream had been providing a bridge that we hadn't had before, a bridge to that, the big decision to go to church on that Sunday. It felt like it, it made it less of a less of a big difference for people. And uh, uh, and so far, we, we've kept them. We've just been back inside uh, for the last few weeks since the weather's turned and it hasn't been that great. And yeah, pe people are hanging around and they're staying. Um, uh, and I hope they do. I really hope they do. So pray for us. Pray that people stay. But at the moment, we've got a number of new Christians that we're discipling, some people we're talking about baptism with. Uh, and we've got a bunch uh, who have been with us uh, for new people for the last 18 months or so through different things who we're talking about membership with as well. So um there's been hardship it's been tough it's been brutal in so many ways uh but we are really thankful for what god has been doing uh in the midst of all of that messiness 
Um, so hope the story encourages you, praying for all of you, pray that God is blessing you and in amongst all the difficulty you are spotting him at work. God bless you from all of us at Colby Newham and Middlesbrough. Have a great afternoon. Bye bye.